Let's get to it. So today we got Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. was actually my favorite fighter way before I started watching Floyd Mayweather. Roy Jones Jr. came out and he had an interview and he was talking about Terrence Crawford. He was basically saying, can't nobody beat Terrence Crawford. The only person he see beat Terrence Crawford is Tank Davis. What? And that's if they come up to 145 catch weight. He's saying that Tank Davis got the explosiveness. Listen, I don't care about Tank Davis' explosiveness and I don't care about his power. He ain't beat no Terrence Crawford. Absolutely not. But this is what Roy Jones Jr. had to say exactly. But Crawford, on the other hand, I don't see nobody around that's gonna be that beat Bud unless it's somebody way bigger than him. But don't don't sleep on the fact that if him and Tank fought at about 145, that's a good daggone fight. You understand me? Matter of fact, I'm saying that's a good damn fight. You understand me? Because they both have very high IQs and Tank is very explosive. See, that's the one thing Tank got that Earl didn't have. Tank has explosiveness. In boxing, an explosive fighter can go a lot of places. I was only able to cover the weight that I covered because I was so explosive. If I wasn't explosive, I couldn't cover that much weight. Explosiveness keeps people in check. So that's how he feels. He feels that he comes to 145 and he got the explosiveness. He can definitely beat Terrence Crawford. Now, I wouldn't go too far as saying he'll beat Terrence Crawford. I'm going to go as far as saying he'll hurt him probably. He'll definitely probably hurt him. I mean, hey, we've even seen Terrence Crawford hurt by Gamboa. Ah! <laughs> so I'm going to say he probably could hurt him. But just straight up beating Terrence Crawford, he, he's going to need more than just power and explosiveness to actually be somebody like Terrence Crawford, somebody who has skill, IQ, and somebody who got a little power himself. On another note, we got Oscar De La Hoya out here talking about Williams De Pedra. He's saying that he's ready to fight anybody. Stop the cap. He's ready to fight Tank. He's ready to fight Devin Haney. He's ready to fight Shakur Steve. He's lying for sure. Oh no, I'm sorry. He ain't ready to fight Shakur Stevenson because he's saying Shakur Stevenson is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. What the hell did you just say? Now, this kind of disgusts me because it's like I'm tired of this glorifying duck. It's like there's no shame anymore. We're going to pray for these niggas. How they are openly ducking people now. The promoters coming out ducking people. The boxers themselves coming out ducking people. And there's no shame anymore. You know what I'm saying? As long as you, as long as you compliment the other fighter, you're good. No, it shouldn't be like that, man. Our boxers are getting soft. And something needs to change. It's definitely open duck season. And this something that I'm not a fan of. This is exactly what Oscar De La Hoya had to say, and then I'll leave you guys with that. I would put him against anybody right now. Shakur, uh, uh, the only one that I, the only one that I, uh, is Shakur. Shakur, Shakur, he's a bad mother, he's a bad, Shakur, Shakur's good. He's actually really, really good. Um, Tank would love to face him against Tank. And he's great as well. I mean, every single one that I that I mentioned is great. We would love to fight. He's ready. I'm telling you, he's ready.